Look at all those faces, ladies and gentlemen. Candidates vying for the Democratic nomination have been spending their weekend in good old Iowa. 19 of the 23 candidates descended on the first in the nation caucus state, Iowa. Tonight, they showed up to the Hall of Fame dinner in Cedar Rapids, all but frontrunner former Vice President Joe Biden was in attendance. He and President Trump will head there later this week. And each of the candidates attending the dinner had five minutes to pitch to a room full of the state's party officials, activists, and organizers. So that was pretty lengthy. Also lost. Okay, some of the topics shaping up to be big issues. I'm sorry, it's the truth. In the primaries, are abortion and election protection. Montana governor and presidential hopeful Steve Bullock is focusing on guarding the election process. It reveals a new air defense system. The country's defense minister claims that the new system can track and destroy up to six stealth targets simultaneously with missiles. Those fighter jets and drones can be up to 28 miles away. The revelation comes as tension between the Islamic Republic and the U.S. rises. Meantime, Iranian leaders say that with the new sanctions imposed by the U.S., it's clear President Trump is not serious about talking things out. As the United States continue to pressure Iran economically and militarily, Key U.S. allies, one in particular, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, will visit Iran later this week for three days of meetings. One goal will be to reduce U.S. tensions with Iran. This, of course, comes on the heels of President Trump visiting Japan late last month. Maybe that can help. Other countries, including Qatar, Oman, and Iraq, are urging a compromise to bridge the gap and create a conversation between the two heated parties. Several congressional committee hearings on the Mueller report, oh, we're still talking about that, are scheduled to take place this week. Since the Trump administration has refused to cooperate, those proceedings are already the focus of controversy, because of course they are. He was pivotal during the Watergate scandal, and House Democrats say the hearing will be focused on lessons from the Mueller report. President Trump has slammed Democrats ahead of this testimony because of course he would, and of course he'll do it on Twitter. Sorry, no do-overs. Go back to work. Uh, a Rhode Island congressman says that Monday's hearing is about justice, not any politics. Mueller said he never exonerated him, he just didn't have the authority to do it himself. As President Trump maintains, though, there was no collusion, there was no obstruction. Republican Congressman Mark Meadows says if special counsel Robert Mueller or his investigators eventually do testify, there will be plenty to ask them about. Uh, we were going over in the show how Trump has a lot of critics on that, but I want to get, what, what do you think of his approach in using these, these tariffs on China, on Mexico? Is it working or is it not? On The Daily Show, he said recently, a couple days ago, that as much as he criticizes Trump and as much as he doesn't like some of the promises, that he has been the one president to keep his promises, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you're a Democrat who's brave and goes on Fox News a lot, has a lot of friends there, so you're used to the minority <laughs> opinion. But this might be someone who would agree with you on a, on a lot uh, of things anti-Trump. What do you have to say in response to that? I, I, you know what, I, I believe you. We'll, we'll wait and see. Just keep uh, Senator Warren away from the beers and Gillibrand, there you, go. you know, the, don't try so hard. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm with you. I'm 100% with you. Okay. All right, thanks for coming on. I will see you soon. You're the best. See you soon. All right, still to come, bad behavior by a dictator. Hmm, what could that be? Well, we also have Sleeping Soundly and Tossie and Turning, my favorite part of the show other than Antoine joining us. Coming up, stay with us. Uh, uh.